afternoon and welcome to the demonstration video for exercise 11, Poisoned Fruit. So, we start by selecting the ellipse tool and we're going to create a circle. A circle. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go to my curvature tool and I'm going to add two anchors and I am gently going to pull this down um, and I am going to add two anchors at the bottom and push it up. Okay, um, so you can see now that I have kind of an apple shape. I'm going to go to my select tool and I am going to select really bright red. Okay, so from here it's pretty easy. I am now going to select the mesh tool and I can click on any of the anchor points, okay? And I can create new anchor points. If I want to, okay, so I'm gonna go here to the tool and there we go. Add one, there we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select green, and you'll notice, I'll zoom in, this particular anchor point green. I'm going to select the direct select tool, click on my color. I like working with swatches mostly, so I am going to pick a darker green, click on OK, and you'll see how the color changes. If I want to um, further distort my color selections, I just click on my anchor tools and I can spin them or whatever I want. Just be careful here. So there, okay, add the gradient. I'm going to select this. And here I'm going to go to color swatches and I am going to select a yellow. And you'll see that these kind of overblend as well. And again, I can move it. I am really not making any changes to the shape of the apple itself. But what I am doing, and every time I click, it will um, give me the color that I was last using. So if I want to use orange, there we go, and I can move it. Be careful, every time you click, you create a new mesh. So if I want to undo it, I just control Z. Okay, I hope that this helps you in creating your poison fruit. Remember, there are more than apples that you can poison. You can poison mangoes and papaya and grapes and strawberries and pretty much anything you want. Enjoy the process. See you soon.